Harrison has been a leader in analog technology since the installation of our first console in 1975. Our analog consoles are well known for their larger-than-life sound, as many of them are still highly sought after today. Our staple of no-compromise engineering continues with our newest model, the 950MX. The signal processing of the 950MX is intended to complement the typical studio's DAW and existing plugins. For this purpose, we've provided the processing that engineers miss when working in the box. Sweet analog EQ, fast alias-free compression, and silky smooth analog faders. Everything is available directly under your fingertips using Harrison's superior knowledge of ergonomics and usability. The mono modules feature separately switched and sweepable high and low pass filters and a versatile three band EQ with sweepable frequencies, implementing the same circuitry as our original 32 series consoles. The input section provides a pan control and a microphone preamp section with pad, polarity, and a separate line input switch. The phantom power switch for the mic preamp is intentionally located out of the way at the top of the module. The preamp section is followed by four mono aux sends, which can be set as pre or post fader via an internal jumper. The channel button enables the channel VCA. The LED switch is illuminated when the channel is turned on. The solo switch activates a post fader assignment to the solo bus. Each channel also features an insert point. These can be used to add outboard effects to the signal chain if desired. Mono modules also feature a direct output. At the bottom of the strip next to the fader, you'll find the assignment buttons to the master buses. The red bus has a transformer balanced output, while the black bus is electronically balanced like the other outputs of the console. There's also a four segment LED meter right next to the fader. The stereo module is very similar to the mono module. In place of a microphone preamp, there are stereo configuration switches to reverse the channels or sum them to mono. These modules feature fixed frequency filters and tone controls. They are designed to track very closely so that your stereo image remains unchanged. The master module provides the master faders for the red and black buses, as well as the master level control for the four aux sends. At the top, you'll find controls for the red and black bus compressors. Having two discrete mix buses, each with their own bus compressor, is a unique and versatile feature of the 950MX. It allows the mixer to generate two different mixes with separate outputs or sum them together internally. If you sum both buses, you can process them separately and achieve effects like parallel compression which can increase the impact and depth of your transients. Also in the master module are the main talkback and oscillator assign buttons. These switches assign the main talkback and oscillator tone to any of the four aux buses and or the master buses. The control room module provides volume control, mono, and mute buttons for the main speakers, as well as the front headphone jack. A monitor B switch allows you to listen through a second pair of speakers. Above that, you'll find the control room input selector, which allows you to listen to the external input or any of the main or aux buses. The top of the control room module features the oscillator frequency selections. The bottom of the control room module houses the main talkback controls, including the talkback button, talkback mic, and level control. The alternate output module features two separate outputs that are almost identical to the control room outputs. Each includes controls for level, mono, and mute, as well as an input selector. Each of these outputs is summing, allowing you to listen to any combination of external input, aux buses, main buses, or all at once, giving you tremendous flexibility, especially when bouncing between tracking and mix down tasks. You could, for example, use these alternate outputs to generate two different headphone mixes. There's a talkback button for each output, allowing you to address each headphone mix separately. The master output module houses the transformers and line driver circuitry for the red and black bus outputs, as well as the high quality VU meters for each of the master buses. 
For your existing analog gear, we've designed a new line of studio furniture to complement the 950MX. These pieces include a sidecar, which provides 10 rack spaces at the desk surface, and a 16-space standalone rack. Both pieces use the same laser-cut and powder-coated aluminum framing as the 950MX, so you can be sure that regardless of what gear you use with the console, your studio can have a professional, cohesive look. All of these features add up to bring the most robust recording and mixing experience to your facility. Harrison's commitment to quality ensures that the 950MX will give you that classic analog sound that you're looking for, with the flexibility and strength to be integrated into any workflow.